everyone. Welcome back to the channel. We're back here at Infinity of Flemington. Take a look at this brand new 2024 Infinity Q50. This is the Lux all-wheel drive trim. The color here is Graphite Shadow with a Graphite leather interior. So the Q50 has been in the lineup a long time. It's been a long time since it's had a refresh or redesign. Could be the final year of the Q50 this year. Infinity has been going back and forth with what they're going to do with this car, whether they're going to bring it back for one more year or whether they're going to sunset it and bring out that new EV car they've been working on. But right now, that's kind of in a delay period. So this car right now, I think, is in limbo. So you let me know if you're looking for that sports sedan and you don't mind some older tech, maybe an older design. You just want to have some fun with the car. Maybe this is the one for you. So let's dig in. The front end of the Q50, again, graphite shadow is the color, and we do have a full spread of LED lighting up front, including the fog lamps. We have that chromed out infinity grill up front, and then we do have some of that graphite down on the front splitter area, but I still think it looks pretty good for an older design here on the sedan. Now, as we come to our wheel and tire setup, what we're looking at here is an 18-inch machined aluminum alloy wheel infinity badge on the center cap. Now, these wheels are wrapped in Bridgestone Potenza all-season tires, 225 on the width, a 50-series sidewall 18s, all four corners, all-wheel drive. You can also get the Q50 Lux in rear-wheel drive. Save yourself some money. I do like the graphite shadow, and I do like the design, even though it's older, of this Q50. Color match side view mirrors with LED turn signals. Color match with some chrome on each door handle, front and back. Up top, we have a color match roof shark fin antenna standard sunroof. The rear end of the Q50, I do like the kick up as far as the deck lid on the back. Full spread of LED lighting on the back as well. Infinity Emblem right in the middle, Q50 on the right, functional dual exhaust. Under the hood of this Q50 Lux, we have Infinity's 3-liter twin-turbo V6 engine mated to a 7-speed automatic transmission, 300 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque, MPGs 19 in the city, 27 on the highway, 22 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 91 so you'll need to use premium unleaded fuel. Before we get into the interior, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much for this base trim Lux? Well, MSRP base for the 24 Infinity Q50 Lux all-wheel drive, $45,050. This vehicle's got a few options on it, which we'll check out when we go through the window sticker. Once you add, a, add those in, and a destination and delivery fee of $1,150 from Infinity's assembly plant over in Japan. We have a total vehicle MSRP from the factory of $46,890. So let's check out the interior. Starting with the driver door panel, we'll move in closer. We're going to go soft touch all the way across the top. Then we're going to have some silver trim right here more like gray and then silver trim into the chrome door handle. Two memory seat settings right here. Nice soft armrest with a graphite leather insert, flat black on your switch gear. And we do have power folding mirrors here in this Q50 Lux. Down below, nice large door pocket. And then here we go. We do have the Bose performance sound system in this Q50. And that baby is 16 speakers. Moving on in, nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator with your push-on, push-off parking brake. We do have infinity door sill plates in aluminum to welcome you to the vehicle. And then full power for the driver, power seat for the front passenger, graphite leather with the light gray stitching, nice and soft, nice and comfortable, nice and classy. Front passenger door panel, same as the driver, except we don't have memory seat settings. Up top, soft touch, soft touch, black plastic, nice large glove box. 
infotainment system time, we do have Infinity's twin panel, fully integrated infotainment system. This one's been in the vehicle for a while. We do have heat and air vents on either side. We have an upper screen and we have a lower screen. So to start off, if you, we have our home menu here down on the bottom where you can Bluetooth your phone, info, device connections, we can connect up to six devices, Wi-Fi, hotspot, USB, as well as your regular settings, Infinity Connect with your smartphone. So that's all set up in here. We have wireless CarPlay, wired Android Auto. That's what the system does. But the wireless CarPlay uh, works really, really well. Probably one of the best wireless CarPlay connections I've seen in a vehicle, even though it's an older system. It works really well push button start over here. Now on your upper screen, and now if we go into reverse, you'll see that our backup camera comes up 360 degree view with trajectory. But again, the Q50 gets an older camera, so it's a little grainy. Would like to see them upgrade this camera. But you know what? It gets the job done at the end of the day. And if we come down further, now we have our climate system up. So you have your climate, menu, and audio. And here you got your heated steering wheel, your dual heated seats, dual climate, all right here. So they got you all set as far as that stuff goes. So I do like that. Um, and then you have your hard controls over here for your climate control, as well as your defrost and all that other stuff. So it works really well. Now our drive modes will come up up here when we in, turn them on. And we have a personal, sport, standard, eco, and snow. I think we'll rock in sport for the drive today since this is a sports sedan. So they give you plenty of drive modes, which is nice. Now, as we come back down further, we do have an ashtray in here. <laughs> Used to be, that's what it looks like, but really what we have in here is a 12 volt and a little cubby to store stuff. And then right above our, get a good shot of this, right above our volume knob and our radio controls, we have a CD player right in here. So they got you all set. And here's our redundancies for our heated seats right down here for the driver and front passenger and your four-way hazards. Here is the gear shift leather gator to go through this seven-speed automatic. Here's the dial to use the infotainment system in case you don't want to use a touch screen. Here's the drive mode selector. Two cup holders. Love the silver trim down here instead of gloss black. Keeps the fingerprints away. Infinity key fob, remote start, lock, unlock, pop the trunk, panic button, nice and light. And then we have a really nice armrest, nice and soft in the leather. Open it up. We have a 12 volt aux jack USB C USB A. Q50 steering wheel, nice leather wrap wheel, nice 10 and 2 notches in the graphite with the white cross stitch, some chrome in and around the horn button, infinity badge there. The wheel, not a problem. It is a round bottom wheel. I think I might like to see a, a flat bottom just to give it a more sporty look. But you let me know what you think. Flat black on the switch gear. On the left, you have the controls for your telephone voice command and your volume. And then on the right side is where you're going to have your adaptive cruise, safety suite controls, and controls for the digital portion of your dash. No paddles in this Q50 Lux. On the left, you're going to have your headlight controls, fog lamp controls, and then on the right, windshield wiper controls and then down here on the left traction control off pop the trunk and up here brightened in the dash trip reset we do have an electric tilting and telescoping wheel and then we do have the analog digital combo on the dash analog gauges for your speedometer tachometer fuel level and coolant temperature and then we have more information here in the center that you can look at when you're going down the road. Overhead console, there's a spot for your sunglasses right there. SOS button in case there's an emergency on the road. You want your dome lighting to come on and off when you open to close the door. This button with the car, with the open door, stays off. When you open the door, lighting comes on, close the door. Lighting will dim out. Sunroof, manual shade, and then just a one touch and the roof opens up. Wind buffeter comes up. And then one touch back. And then once the roof is closed, you can bring your shade back by hand. We do have our sun visor with vanity and a light. Does it slide? Yes, it does. And our rear view mirror 
framed mirror, rear view mirror auto dim, and here are your home link or your garage door programmables right there. Getting in the back seat of the Q50, before we get in there, rear door panel, same vibe, same materials as the front with the leather and everything. So I like that they kept the consistency of design front to back. I have the seat set for my driving position, so let's get in. Duck down a little bit if you're a taller person to get in, because we do have a sloping roof line. You're going to bang your head. Once I'm in, though, at 5 foot 11, plenty of room for my head, shoulders, and knees. Leather, plastic, seat pocket behind the driver, and the front passenger. In the back, two heat and air vents, USB-C, USB-A. Back seats, we have the graphite leather with cross stitch, nice and comfortable, nice and soft and poofy. And then our armrest, a little sticky, super soft, two cup holders. And overall, here in this four-door sedan, I got enough room, feels good, feels comfortable. Getting in the trunk of your Q50, pop it from the key fob, pop it from the dash, come to the back, and right underneath the infinity badge, there's a button, push it and lift up, nice and light. Nice wide opening, 13.5 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of the Q50. We have our carpeted floor mats, carpeted cargo mat, and all sorts of nice stuff in here. Underneath here, you do have extra storage with space for some tools. So they got you covered there. We do have the shopping hooks, which I always like. So you can put your shopping bags on there. They won't slide around on your way home from the grocery store. And if you need more room and you don't have anybody in the back seat, we do have pull levers or straps in this case. You can pull these and then you can go around each door and push them, push them down. 60 40 split. And now, once you have them down, you have a kick up and a more narrow opening, but if you have some larger items, you got room for it. So it's a really good use of space in the back of this Q50. Q50 window sticker, here we go, 2024, Q50 Lux all-wheel drive, standard equipment. The options. Total vehicle MSRP. Fuel economy estimates. Final assembly is in Elizabeth, but this vehicle is 100% made in Japan. Let's take this baby out for a spin. All right, we're out on the road in this 24 Q50 Lux in sport mode. Great visibility out the windshield, side glass, side view mirrors, rear window. Really no problem at all with visibility. Blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, all that jazz is in this Q50 for safety, LED lighting up front and out back as well for safety. So even though we have an older design and an older interior look and older tech, we do have all the modern safety equipment in here. It is a Consumer Reports recommended vehicle if that's important to you. And it's also a best safety pick from the uh, Insurance Institute of Highway Safety, which runs all the crash testing. Uh, privately not government crash tests but their own and that this is also a recommended vehicle for that as well so it has a lot going for it practicality wise even though it's an older design but the ride right now we're in sport and it's firmed up feels good i got the all-wheel drive getting all 300 ponies to the ground the steering wheel has a nice weight to it has great handling very very responsive in the handling which we'll show you here in a little bit when we get up into the corners but it is a really easy vehicle to drive now like i mentioned earlier if you don't want the all-wheel drive you can get it in rear wheel drive because this is a rear wheel drive biased vehicle which means it's going to handle better than something that's front wheel drive biased for sure uh, and you can save yourself some money if you want to go rear-wheel drive instead of the all-wheel. But up here in the Northeast, most of these Q50s that are coming in for dealer stock are ordered with all-wheel drive. 
but the suspension is well damped. It feels good on the road. It, the seats feel comfortable. It feels like I, I could also could just get in this car and take it on a nice long road trip and feel really, really good and, and comfortable as we go down the road. So I don't have any problems there. Or we can take it out on the weekend and we can rip it around on our fun back road twisty bits that we want, want to do. But we'll come up here, we'll check out our brakes. Stops just fine. Now we'll take off. And this twin turbo V6 gets the vehicle up to speed. No problem at all. The seven speed automatic, been around a long time, shifts smoothly. So it really is a pleasurable vehicle to drive. And if you want more power, you can go all the way up to the top Red Sport 400 trim, get the same engine and transmission, but then you're, it's going to bring 400 horsepower, 100 more horsepower, and really get this vehicle moving down the road. And we come down to the corner. Here we go. To the left. Very nicely done. Stays composed in the turn. Back to the right. Stays composed in the turn. No problem. Now, of course, these all-season tires are going to let this vehicle down if you want to hoon it around. So you may want to go with a stickier tire. Um, but here we go. 18.7 foot turning radius. Pretty good for a mid-size sedan. Down the road we go. Hanging around to the left. And it picks up and moves. No problem at all. Feels good, handles good, it's comfortable. So, in my view, this Q50, if you're looking for that midsize sports sedan and you just want, you don't care about the tech, you don't care about an older design, that doesn't bother you because it certainly doesn't bother me, and you want something that's fun and flickable, then, and you want the premium warranty, you want the premium brand, you want that four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper. I think the Q50 is definitely something you should go to your local Infinity dealer. You should try it out. You should see what it's all about. Take it for a test drive and see for yourself. Because I think you'd be impressed. Because I'm impressed every time I get in this vehicle. So you let me know what you think. Infinity Q50. Is this up your alley like it is mine? Is it just you don't like the older style? You don't like the older tech? And you're a guy that needs or a gal that needs newer tech? Put that in the comments and let me know. But I do want to thank Infinity of Flemington for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Infinity Q50 Lux all-wheel drive for a review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.